Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. In fact, welcome to season four of the vlog. Finally, it's been a long time coming. In fact, I wanted to do this about two or three weeks ago, around the time I changed the channel name, started messing around with the thumbnails. It was all part of a grander plan to relaunch everything, ready for everything to all sort of come together at the same time. But there was one problem with doing that. This camera that I'm talking to you on, I had a bit of a technical issue because the microphone input broke which meant this microphone that has lived on top of that camera day in day out for the last year of daily vlogging was useless it, it, this bit didn't work i've been waiting for the launch of something new i've been waiting for my replacement it's finally here a month before the release date according to canon's website um i have bought this this isn't something they've sent me i'm not that snazzy yet but in theory this box should contain a canon m50 the new mirrorless camera from canon that shoots in 4k i'm not going to be shooting in 4k because that would take forever to edit but we're going to unbox it we're going to get it set up and then we're going to start daily vlogging again so how can i get far enough away to be able to do this here we have the box, the Canon EOS M50. It's a lot smaller than my current camera. We'll do a size comparison in a second of this compared to the 80D, which I'm filming on at the moment, but I can't do that while I'm filming this on the 80D, so I'll have to shoot that on the G7X in a second. But let's get this bad boy open, see exactly what we get in this box. I am so excited to effectively have this early. I know, I guess anyone who's pre-ordered it would have got it at the same time. I've certainly not had any special treatment, but this is just awesome. We have in the box, I need a better unboxing station. We have a power cable. We have a strap. That feels like the camera, so we'll come back to that in a second. We have the battery charger unit. I already have a spare battery for that, so I'll get that charging in a second. We have the battery. I now own two of these. Um, what's this? Oh, the lens, of course. What's this bit? Yeah, that way the lens. So let's get the, the lens out first and try not to break it. So this lens is not quite as wide as the lens I've been using on the, on the ATD for the last year or so. It's 15 to 45. I have been using a 10 to 18, I think, on the Canon. That's not what's on there at the moment. It's an 18 to 55 on there at the moment. So it's a little bit wider than that. Although it is cropped with it being a mirrorless lens and it's going to be cropped. So it's going to look fairly similar to the current one. One pretty little lens and it is little because the, the M series of cameras from Canon do have smaller lenses. So my original plan to be able to put my current lenses on this camera was foiled as soon as I did a little bit of research. Anyone who knows anything about cameras will know I was an idiot for thinking that would ever be a possibility. But this is the camera itself. <laughs> Let's get this out get it charging get it set up so there it is it really is just like a diddy little version of the ATD which is what I shoot on at the moment um, crucially important is we have the mic jack on the side which will get a microphone into ASAP once we've got it charged and it has if I can get it out the little flip out screen that is so important to being a vlogger which was on the ATD. This camera is half the price of the Canon ATD. For someone like me, who knows nothing about photography, nothing about videography, has left his ATD on auto mode for the last year, this seems like it could be the perfect vlogging camera. I don't need a thousand pounds of a Canon ATD. If this shoots in the same quality, with the option of doing an occasional bit of 4K as well, for 520 quid I think this is without the lens it's about 600 including the lens um then I have a new favorite camera I'll probably end up selling the ATD but there it is I'm going to get that charging I'm going to get it set up and do a comparison side by side between this and the ATD so I've dropped the little one the G7X up onto the tripod this isn't G7X audio before you think this whole thing was a waste of time this is coming through my my Yeti and into the computer hopefully the last time I'll have to do this. I want to do a size comparison between these two cameras. Um, I've set the ATD up again with the microphone on. I mean, the microphone is not working at the moment, just to give you an idea of the size of it. And then this is the M50 with the microphone on. Look at the size difference. 
between those two cameras side by side the smaller microphones so much lighter so much less intrusive if it films well we have a game changer plus the fact that it can also film in 4k yes it has a 1.6 crop a 1.6 times crop if you film in 4k so it's i just tip myself in the face with it which if i'd have done that with the atd i'd have knocked myself out but i'm not going to form it film in 4k unless i absolutely have a brilliant reason why i need to but it's not something that's even been on the table for me before so i don't think i'm going to be that desperate to do it anytime soon it's nice that kind of starting to think about that it's not anything i need to worry about for these vlogs they're not going to be in 4k anytime soon but that is just i mean the weight difference between the two it's mad and it's going to fit in my bag better as well um you can judge for yourself though because the rest of today's vlog assuming i can get a battery charged up quickly enough which it says it's full so the rest of today's vlog is going to be filmed on the new canon m50 let me know what you think of the image quality let me know if you think I've got a wide enough lens on it or if I need to invest in a new lens. And most importantly, let me know what you think of the audio quality. Now we're going to be using a nice external microphone again. I've never used the Rode Video Mic Micro, I think this is called, before. Video, video Mic Go. If this ends up being a bit rubbish, we can always stick the big one back on there. It will look a bit silly having the massive microphone on this tiny camera to give you an idea of the size difference. But I'm all about the audio quality can tell i came from podcasting um right let's go and actually go outside and get on with this vlog oh that's going to take some getting used to the uh the record buttons on the front of the camera rather than the back of the camera but there you go this is as wide as we can get at sort of half arm's length a comfortable vlogging distance i think we're picking up a decent amount of the background behind me it seems to be auto focusing fairly well hopefully you can hear me nice and clearly now let's go and get out and about and do a proper vlog. There we go then, first time out and about in the wild. Let me know what the sound is like. Obviously future Kev will know because he'll have been listening to it when he's editing it together, but it's so much lighter. It's brilliant. Of course, the big problem with having to wait in all day for a camera to be delivered is that when it comes to time to actually get out and about to test it, you don't have time to actually get out and about somewhere and test it properly. So me and Anna have come to the shop. So I'm deliberately sort of walking in and out of the shade to try and see how it does with changing light conditions and uh, we're going to go to Tesco of course Tesco is always fun one immediate issue I'm noticing that's going to need some kind of idea to work around is because of where the microphone jack is positioned on this camera you can't open up the flip screen and turn it around with a microphone plugged in unless you kind of force it when it's halfway around which is obviously going to lead to either the microphone jack breaking or the flip screen breaking and that's not ideal. All of the reviews I read of this camera before picking it up were basically asking the same question, if not answering it, is the Canon M50 gonna be the new ultimate vlog camera? Is it gonna take over the Canon G7X Mark II, the one I'm filming this on now, as the vlogger's choice? It's a similar sort of price point, just under 600 pounds, and more fully featured, closer in spec. Well, not closer in spec, but closer in what a vlogger needs to this thing. And it, I mean, first impression is, it's great. There's one massive flaw. It's the flaw I talked about while I was out and about, and it's this one. Um, if I put it back how it's supposed to be. So we have the flip screen flips out, which is fine. I can see in it at the moment, it's facing back towards me. But because of where the microphone is, for me to be able to turn that, I, there's, there's no way to turn it round. You have to sort of get it half out and then turn it and bring it the rest of the way around. And it feels really clunky as you do that. It doesn't feel like you should be moving it in that plane of motion. But that's how we need to use it. Facing us like that, that's, that's, the, whole, that's the whole point. Just put the microphone on the other side. I mean, if we look at the ATD, which they already make, it's already the premium camera vlogger's choice. I guess the microphone was still on the same side, but you can see that the camera, when it flips, doesn't get anywhere near the microphone. It's like no one's tested it for vlogging, which... What, what else is this camera for if it's not a vlogging camera? Come on, Canon. I'm sure I'll get used to it, though, just like with having the 
record button on the front, the on-off button being in a slightly different place. They're all little niggles that I'm sure I'm going to get used to in time. I am loving the fact that it's just so much more responsive than the G7Xs for doing stuff like that. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure I, my face is staying in focus while I'm doing this, which is, I mean, that's an impressive feat for a 600 pound camera. Um, I'll test it properly tomorrow. I'm going to Cambridge tomorrow, taking only this with me to test it out. I'll vlog all day just on this camera, give it its proper field test, ready for insomnia at the weekend. But first, Andy's about to get home. Hello? Yeah. You all right? You want. Have you had a good day? Yeah. Why would you go to bed? What's wrong? Hmm. Have you had a good day, Andy? Yeah. Last day at school for a little while? Oh, uh, I Yeah. He's tired. This is from school. So school have got him a Thornton's chocolate bunny. Very snazzy. A milky bar egg as well. Do you want some Easter egg, Andy? No, thank you. Okay. Oh, and some cakes as well. Have you been cooking today? No. I think somebody has. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, a chick with a Cadbury's cream egg in it. A wooden chick. That is a wooden chick. Like, um, wooden things. Hold on, it's taking forever to focus on it. There we go. We have a wooden chick. Oh, so he didn't make this. Someone's made that for him. That's cool with a cream egg in the middle. Awesome. Anything else in his little craft bag? No, he helped make the cakes. Did you like the cake? He did Paralympic Games in here. Paralympic Games, eh? Yeah, Paralympic Games in PE. Did you do PE today? Yeah. Good. Um, this is his third day now of wearing the compression vests. How are we finding the compression vests? He seems to like wearing them, doesn't he? He hasn't. He's not trying to take them off or anything. No, yesterday, but did he? But he's not taking them off, is he? And like with underpants, he would take them off if we tried to put them on him. So it's not that he really, really hates him. Um, I guess he is tired. So he got up at midnight, went back to bed about six bags of crisps at midnight, and then had some melatonin. Went back to bed at what one ish. 20 plus one, and then he did sleep through. When I got up this morning at like half past six, he oh, was still in bed. Mm. He's getting ready for the school holidays. You know what he's like in the school holidays. School holidays come round, his sleep is just, he's gonna fall back onto his 20 hour days where he just seems to operate on a different daily cycle to the rest of us and his sleep gradually rotates throughout it because it doesn't match up with ours. And I don't know of any way we can train him back into it. He normally refuses melatonin, so, Maybe melatonin is an option if he's now taking it. But he goes to bed, doesn't he? It's just he gets up again. And then I guess you use the melatonin to send him back. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a problem with his with his burnout at the moment because he's because we're using Burnout Paradise, the game that he plays, the racing game, as a reward for him trying some of our dinner. That's what he now does after dinner every evening. But the problem is, he's playing that when he would normally be eating. And then he goes and has his bath, does his normal bedtime routine, rushes downstairs, has about two bags of crisps. But that's obviously not enough and he's waking himself up because he's hungry. And we don't seem to be able to convince him that he should still be eating and he needs to eat before he comes up for his bath. I think he's worried he's missing out on burnout time. But yeah, we need to come up with a solution. Otherwise, sleep is going to be all over the place again for the next couple of weeks. Dave, you're just desperate to get on camera, aren't you? Come here. Come on. Smile. There you go. You've seen Dave today now too. What's the matter? You can still dance tomorrow, just because no you're not dance. at school tomorrow. You can still watch no Third Rock from the Sun if you want. No dancing. He's sat here watching Third Rock from the Sun on YouTube saying no dancing over and over again because normally in the mornings he watches Third Rock from the Sun and dances to it. You can still dance in the morning, it's just no school. So you can still dance if you want to. <laughs> wow! Very good, yes, very good. 
he's a bit out of sorts because finishing school on a Wednesday rather than a Friday, that's complicated. And, and also around. because of all this, the non-normal stuff they did at school today, I think he's struggling a little bit. He's been really, really on edge this since he came home. Man. And um, yeah, simple. highly agitated is I think the way we'd phrase it. That and a lack of sleep. This doesn't seem very happy. Wow. Right, we're going to leave it there on this part of today's vlog. I say this part because there are going to be two videos out on the channel today. In fact, the other one may well already be out. I might have snuck it out last night, depending on how energetic I was feeling. But in about an hour's time, my time, and last night for you, there's a Channel 4 program on as part of Autism Awareness Week. There's a Channel 4 program called Are You Autistic? I think that's what it's called. Um, and I want to be able to do, watch that and then just put out a video with my thoughts on that program. I have no idea what to expect from it. I'm hoping it's going to be a very positive thing, but check the other video for my thoughts on that. Like I say, it might have already come out before this one. It might be coming out later on this evening. It depends how much of the edit I got done last night and what time it all finished off, etc, etc. So we are going to leave this one here. I'm off to Cambridge tomorrow to go and talk to the people at CW Unplugged, which is where I'm going to be speaking in April. All the details of that are on my Twitter and on their website. I'll put a link to that down below, but that'll be, that'll be tomorrow. And then it's just fun-filled day after fun-filled day for a little while. It's going to be very, very cool. Um, if you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily vlogs. And thank you very much for watching.